Most kitchen shears have metal plier-like teeth in the middle, between the handle grips. They can help you crack nuts, grab shells, and release other tough products. You can also open jars and bottles, or remove herb stems with their help. You can keep your cold meals cold and your food fresh by making a DIY ice pack. Take a sponge and fill it with water, then put it in a plastic bag and leave it in the freezer. Once the sponge is frozen, it'll stay this way for a long time. Keep in mind that you should use a watertight bag and a fresh sponge. If you turn over a Tupperware container, you'll see some symbols. They'll inform you if you can put the container in the dishwasher, if it can be microwaved or frozen. You may even find out how you can recycle the thing. Staplers actually have two modes, not just one. There's a metal plate on the lower part of the device, which helps bend the staples inward after they've pierced the paper. What many people don't know is that you can turn this plate around to switch from the staple mode to the pinning one. The pinning setting is for temporary fastening. The staples bend outward, making them easier to remove when necessary and damaging the paper less, too. When you take a sip from a coffee cup closed with a lid, the air pressure inside the cup drops. That's why the air from the outside tries to push into the cup. The tiny hole on the lid allows some air to enter this way, and the liquid can go out of the main hole more smoothly. It's often hard to figure out how much detergent you need to clean your laundry well, but not go overboard. Pay attention to the cap of your detergent. It usually has a marker indicating how much product you need to add to your laundry. Or there might be an instruction on the bottle. It'll let you know how to measure the detergent. You can use most screwdrivers together with a wrench to create more torque. Just place the wrench over the handle of the screwdriver. This way, you'll need to apply a lot less force than before. You'll also be able to get to hard-to-reach areas more easily. The hole in a ruler can be useful if you want to hang the device on a hook. You can also place a pencil tip in this hole if you need to draw a perfect circle. Coffee stirring sticks have holes in them because those help reduce the resistance from your drink. This way, they can stir sugar much more effectively. Such a design also makes these plastic sticks tougher and prevents them from bending in hot water. And since stirring sticks are partially hollow, less plastic is used during their production. Some boxes of chocolates have little dents in between the holes for candies. If you push such a dent, the chocolates surrounding it will pop out of their compartments. The small bumps on the F and J keys on the keyboard help people find the right keys without looking down. It's especially convenient for those who use touch typing. The rumble strips on the sides of the road are placed there to alert drivers who doze off behind the wheel. When their tires move over these strips, the noise and vibration work like an alarm clock. The black grate on a microwave is called a Faraday shield. It contains the electromagnetic energy inside the oven and protects the exterior from radiation. The grate also speeds up the heating process. Bottles have long necks so that your drink stays cool longer. Hold the neck, not the bottle itself, and your drink won't warm up. Dimples on the surface of a golf ball increase its lift and reduce air resistance. It means that the ball can go further. The dimples don't have to be spherical. They can be hexagonal or have any other shape. There's a tab on the bottom of your rearview mirror. If you push it back during nighttime driving, the headlights of the car moving behind yours won't be so blinding. If you're driving during the day, pull the tab forward. You can peel an orange more effectively if you cut into the peel at the top and bottom first. Then make a slit on one side and just pull the peel open. Headrests in cars are detachable. You can use one to break the windows if you get stuck in your vehicle. But by smashing the glass, you can easily hurt yourself. So try sliding one of the prongs in between the window pane and the door. Then pull the headrest toward yourself. The window will shatter. But hey, I'd try the door lock first. Solo cups used at barbecue parties can help you measure liquids. The bottom line equals one ounce. The second line means you've poured five ounces. And the third line means 12 ounces. 
Sneakers were originally invented for basketball players, and since they needed to lace their shoes in the most comfortable way, side holes were invented. Those helped players lace their sneakers in any way they liked, and they accommodate anyone's foot. Little buttons on your jeans are called rivets. They were originally placed there to prevent the seams from ripping. In the past, mostly miners and other workers wore jeans. That's why this item of clothing had to be particularly durable. And even though these days jeans aren't under such stress, the tradition of using rivets still remains. A big toothy spoon comes in handy when you need to pull your spaghetti out of the pot, and the hole in the middle of this spoon can help you measure portions. One portion equals as many dry noodles as you can fit into the hole. Sometimes, pre-rinsing dishes may lead to your dishwasher cleaning them worse than it could. Special sensors inside modern dishwashers can perceive how dirty your plates are, and after that, they send a controlled jet of water to wash all that stuff off. The only thing you're actually supposed to do is remove solid food from your plates and stack them up properly. Ribbed ketchup containers that they give you at fast food restaurants can get a bit bigger. Just pull the ribs outward, and your container will house much more sauce. While using a plunger on a clogged kitchen sink or toilet, make sure you've got the right tool. If it has a standard bowl-shaped rubber head, it's perfect for flat surfaces such as a sink or a tub. But the one designed for toilet pipes has a narrower head. The hole near the rim of your bathroom sink is there to prevent overflows. Thanks to it, all excess water goes into the siphon. Plus, it helps your sink drain faster. The hole gives the air gathered in the siphon somewhere to escape. The hole in a lollipop stick can save your life. If the stick gets stuck in someone's mouth, the hole will prevent this person from choking. But the original reason for it is to simply not let the candy run off the stick. During production, the liquid treat is poured on top of the stick. The stick is hollow inside, so the candy gets inside it from both the top and the side through that exact hole. And when it gets solid, it keeps perfectly on the plastic tube. Most padlocks have a tiny hole on the bottom. It's needed to drain water from the lock and avoid corrosion. By the way, it's the best place to lubricate a padlock. Just put a drop of oil there, and the key will turn much easier. If you don't see a hole on the bottom, the lock is supposed to be used inside. Instead of opening a banana at the stem, turn it upside down and peel it from the bottom. It opens much more easily this way. A utility knife can serve you much longer than you might think. Look at the blade carefully. It's made of parallel sections. Once the knife gets blunt, you should break off the top section. You can do it with the help of the cap you'll find at the bottom of the instrument. In no time, you'll have a sharp blade again. The stripes on headphone jacks keep the wires insulated from one another. One stripe means the headset has a mono signal. Two stripes indicate you'll have stereo sound. And three stripes means the headset also has a built-in microphone. You can usually find some silica gel in bags, shoes, and many other things you buy. This gel absorbs excess moisture. Don't throw it away. Every time your shoes get wet, put some packets of silica gel inside them. It's very convenient to use bread tags to organize your cords. Just take a bread tag and several cords and clip them together. You can also write notes on these tags and use them as reminders.